it's Miss Amy and it is a beautiful day and I am sitting in uh, the children's garden and it is creative art afternoon on this beautiful Wednesday. So what you need is some watercolor paints, uh, some light colored paper, uh, a brush, some water, um, scissors, and a straw. So uh, what I have done is I have traced, you probably can't see it, a, a starfish shape. Uh, so this is one thing that we can do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this starfish shape. And this is going to be um, a little relief uh, painting. Uh, we are going to, ants, um, we're going to blow the watercolor paint, um, but hopefully it is not going to go over this. I probably should tape it down, but I didn't bring tape out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. Okay, there is my starfish shape. Okay. So, and I am going to open up my watercolors. I'm going to just put these out so that you can see. I have a couple of different, and it's the same ones. Okay. So it does not. Okay. So these are my colors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get each of these nice and wet so that they get soft. Put a good amount in there so that I can use the colors. So I want to get them good and soggy. Soggy. Each one. Okay, so each of the colors is nice and wet. That one goes there. Okay. Alright, they're all pretty good. I'm going to put a little in there, but it's not going to make Okay, all right, so now what I'm gonna do, okay, is I am going to, they're all wet, and make sure there's plenty of water in each one, so that I can get, I can use the straw to get the colors up. Okay, so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the straw and I'm going to hold on, this is a bendy straw, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the end of the straw when I dip it in, okay, so I'm going to dip it in and I'm going to hold on to the end and that, whoops. So I put it in the water, I put my thumb over the top, I hold on to it, and then I can do almost like fireworks. I love them. this a little bit closer. So 
that you can see. Okay. All right, that's better. All right. And I'm going to keep going. So definitely taping down, down that if you're going to use that, but just putting all of these beautiful painting. The colors are so pretty, guys. I love this. I haven't done this kind of painting in a long time. It's beautiful. I love this. Be careful not to get out of breath. Love straw painting, yeah, definitely get a little dizzy if you're upside down and blowing hard. Okay, let's do a little bit of that. And it looks different. Every single time. So guys, you can see how beautiful this is, and I love doing straw, watercolor straw painting. This is so much fun. It's a good way to use up crunchy, old um, watercolors. I mean, you can see how kind of nasty looking these were, but when I put the water on, um, when I put the water in it, it changes, and when it dries, it'll look the same. It'll be all crystally and funny looking, but it's a great way to get some beautiful colors, and this would be a great um, envelope paper. You can make make this into an envelope. You could make this into uh, book plates or you could uh, cover the whole thing so that you can make this into um, a journal, you know, outside. Uh, have it be journal paper, you know, the outside of journaling. Uh, Give it a little splash, and then color those beautiful colors. I just love it. All right, happy creating, happy creative art afternoon. Hugs to you. Figure out different ways that you can do this. You could just frame it. I mean, how cool would that be to do something similar uh, for like painting a wall or your ceiling to really give it some pizzazz? Make sure you ask permission before you do something like that. That would be something that you would plan with your parents. But Straw painting with watercolors is really good. Don't get dizzy. Stop when you do. Hugs to you all. Happy creating, Miss Amy.